Hello everybody, it's been a while. All right, let me get Ivy in here. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> so happy that you're able to meet with me today. Yes, me too. It's very cool. Um, so I'll wait a second here and see if some more people come in and then we'll get started on talking about all the things. Okay. <laughs> um, in the mean, uh, meantime, though, do you, you said you had some, some artwork maybe? Uh, let's start in the beginning. So <laughs> my name is Patricia. I'm the founder of Crafter for anyone new watching. And this is Ivy. Um, now, I thought that you uh, spe were specialized in watercolor and uh, mosaics, but it looks like you also do, go is it gauche and things like gouache. that? Gouache. Is that how you say yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. So I wasn't, I wasn't sure. So I, w I wanted to ask more about that, if you could talk a little bit, maybe introduce yourself, where you're from, and some more about what you do. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I live in Pennsylvania all my life, um, and I just got back into doing my art the last couple of years. I went to um, college for art, and then I kind of stepped away, you know, life. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, I started back, I want to say 2017, 2017, 2018 with watercolor, and then um, another artist friend got me turned on to um, gouache, it's, which is like, if you're not familiar, it's a lot like watercolor, but it's more opaque, so it's got some awesome. acrylic properties also. Okay. Which is nice, yeah. Yeah, on Crafter, we have a lot of artists that'll do acrylic, uh, the, like you said, uh, painting, mm -hmm. but I, what, I wasn't as familiar with um, gouache. I have not heard of that one, so uh, right. that's interesting to hear about that. Because I just was like, "Oh, it's watercolor," but obviously, it's not. <laughs> it's different, so that's good for me to to know that. Sure. Um, and then I also am very interested in your mosaics. I've seen a couple of your mosaics that you've made, and I think they're very beautiful. Um, especially Thank you have you. one that's like a sunflower, which is really really pretty. Oh yes, I wish I had yeah. one to show you right now. Um, that one just sold the bigger one, a big eight by yeah. ten, and I sold a bunch of minis um for one of my live events everyone mm -hmm. really likes those so um let me see i can show you a different i would love to see some stuff yeah yeah so we have it's hard to do on the phone i know <laughs> yeah so those are cone flowers beautiful yeah so those are native flowers to uh pennsylvania um, oh, yeah, I wish I could show the sparkle a little bit better. It's, uh... <laughs> I know, I think too, if you turn the camera around too, for a moment, it will be able to hold the phone where you can see. It's true. There, there you go. go. Oh yes. That, I can see that much better now. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so pretty. Thank you. So that's kind of a mix of both, right? You do a little bit of the mosaic with some background that's, um, yeah, yeah, Thank exactly. You, um, the key to a good mosaic, you don't want to completely cover it, at least in the ones I do. Um, so I paint them first, makes a nice guide so I know where I'm putting all my tiles. Exactly. And then, of course, I add the sparkle <laughs> that is the cut glass. I love that. I love that. because I haven't seen a whole lot of that. And I always thought mosaics were so beautiful. Um, it kind of reminds me of like Tiffany lamps and things like that. Stained glass. Oh, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that, but you can hang it on your wall instead of having it as a light fixture or something like that. So it's kind of like a fun yeah, way to get that same kind of style in your house, <laughs> but you can put it anywhere. So I, I don't know. I think that's yeah, kind of fun. exactly. Yeah. So you uh, were, you're born and raised in Pennsylvania then? Yes, outside of Philadelphia. Oh, oh yeah. And and uh, same with me. I, I've been in Florida my whole life. Okay. <laughs> so I relate in that regard. because so lucky. Born in Orlando, moved to Gainesville, then went back to Orlando. So I haven't gone very far. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I know yeah. that area. I used to have a doctor down there. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, in Gainesville? Yes. Yep, Shans. They have that whole Shans hospital. Exactly, all yeah. Hospitals. Yep, yep. So I went to college there and then came back. And so... Um, very that's nice. very cool. 
So you, I was looking through some of your artwork and you have your website and obviously your crafter profile and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so anybody that's watching, if you see something that you're like, Ooh, I like her style or I want to order something, <laughs> please, please check out Ivy on crafter. Um, I was curious because it seems like you do a lot of like nature and uh, landscape. Is that like what you like to do gravitate towards or do you have other topics that you're like, Oh, I wish I had more of these that I would. <laughs> Yeah, that is mostly what I gravitate towards. Um, never really got into portraits, although if the right person asked me to, um, yeah, I will occasionally do that, but it's not my main focus. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so, I really like flowers. I like the ocean a lot, so that's a big yeah. thing for me. You have a painting where there's two of them that you have. One is like with the ocean. You can see the seagulls in the background and things like that. I thought that was very pretty. And then oh, you yeah. have another one where it's more like you see the, the kind of like how the sky is. It reminds me of a Florida sky, honestly, with the pinks and all the different colors in the sky. And then you have this like, uh, um, you see in the background, all the little black trees, like, like way in the distance. Oh, yeah. kind of thing. I thought that was very pretty also. So it's just Thank was you. interesting. I like to see, I like to get to know you more to see, okay, what topics do you like? Because then if I hear somebody saying, Oh man, I really wish I had this in my house or this kind of thing. I'll be like, I know who would be a good fit for that. So that's why I like <laughs> to do these. So I get to know you better and what you like. Yeah. Um, and actually I have drawn a few, of Florida. I don't have them here in my studio. They're in a gallery right now because okay. um trying to think what the call for. Oh, it was words and these just happen to have words in them. Oh, cool. So yeah. wait, there are words in the painting? Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. That kind of reminds me of um, Brianna. She's one of our, our other artists on the site. She does okay. a lot of paintings where they, she also does poetry on them. So oh, she'll do God. some kind of painting and she'll add her, like she'll write a poem and add it on there. So oh, it kind of reminds cool. me of that theme. Yeah, that's interesting. That's very, that's very cool. cool. So did you get any inspiration from anybody in like say family or friends growing up that we were like, Ooh, I really want to be an artist. Like I really want to pursue this or what kind of drive did you have to start doing this? Honestly, I've just always had an interest in art. I took art lessons as a kid. It just felt natural to me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I, I like um, anything creative, especially when you're growing up, because for me, uh, I didn't necessarily get, I, my art form and you're going to laugh was mm -hmm. I drew cartoons for my friends. So uh -huh. I, do, I do cartoons and if something was funny, I would give them like a, a cartoon or a funny comic mm -hmm. or something like that that I drew. So that's about as creative as I, I got growing up. Um, but then music was my outlet. So I feel like it's nice. so important when you're growing up that you have something that you can go to to, to express yourself. And I don't know, it, it's, it's good for you. It's good to have sure. that medium. So Absolutely. when you were younger, did you do painting primarily or any other kind of? Uh, as a kid, I did a lot of drawing, actually. Um, started with, um, let me see, what was that classic medium we started with in my uh, kid art classes? I think it was charcoal and then graphite. And I'm like, when can I do some color? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I'm sure they, they you know, because they teach you all the basics of like, right. you know, at least in school. Because I saw you went to what school in, uh, it says, in Philadelphia also, you got your BA, right? Is that right? Yeah, I took some classes in Philadelphia, but then I went on to Lancaster, which is actually the opposite direction, um, mm -hmm. Millersville University. Right. So, so, I mean, when when you're younger, I'm sure all the way through school, they teach you like, you, the know, basics, kind of yeah. you know, all the things, right? Uh, because yeah. it's school. <laughs> they, they always do all of that. Um, so for me, I always, I saw my brother and my brother was super into drawing and they, you know, all his art books and all his supplies and stuff when he was mm -hmm. getting into it. And it was, it's daunting. Cause it's like, I don't know. It, it's definitely not something that so many people assume that artists just immediately are good. Like they get this like gift. Right. <laughs> and I I'm like, you gotta, <laughs> practice this this is not uh -huh. something that just falls in your lap like oh you're so lucky you're so talented and it's like right. Most, mostly <laughs> trained talent is what they call yeah. it <laughs> right right so. so I've seen a lot of that where people are like oh I wish I could do what you do and it's like you can you just gotta right. start trying to do it <laughs> right practice and just, yeah. just do it <laughs>
exactly. Um, well, that's cool. Do you have anybody else in your family that is creative or um, it's interesting to me because I see some families that are so like, all their family seems to be artists and I have some that are like, there's one person in the family that's artists. I just think that's interesting. Yeah. Um, I mean, my father, uh, designed the logo for his company, but other than that, not much. My mom sews quilts. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I wish I knew how to sew. I, I, and don't laugh. <laughs> I learned how to use a sewing machine because when COVID happened, there was a mask shortage. Oh yeah. And I was sewing masks for people and that's how I learned how to use a sewing machine. <laughs> that was yeah. how I learned. But I, I, I do think I do think it's very cool to see people that can do all sorts of sewing, especially quilts, because I love blankets. I have like right. eight hundred blankets in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so for me it's you know, I would that would be amazing to be able to do that. Oh, I know. So. I don't sew. That was something that was on her all the time. So <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, and so can, do you mind showing me, do you have any other pieces of art you can show me really quick? Absolutely. So let's see. Come on, turn around. One doesn't want to turn around. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I'll show the other mosaic that I have right now on hand. A lighthouse. I don't know how easy it is to awesome. tell here. No, I can see. Yeah. And it has on the on the uh, island there, not island, but you know what I mean, the pier. The cliff, yeah. Yeah, cliff, yeah. Very, very pretty. Mm. I just love the blend of it with the mosaic and the painting. I think that's really pretty. Right. Yeah, that's a lot of the feedback I get. So let me show you another one here. Oh, that's pretty too. Yeah, this is they like- They do um, a lot of like landscape, um, like a lot of landscape type, type themes I've seen. And I think that's really nice. Right. Yeah, this is Longwood Gardens. Went oh, there in the yeah. winter time when it was not so nice here, not so warm. <laughs> That's something that we don't deal with in Florida. There's like a week of winter, and it's like not even cold. It's like in the yeah, 70s. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's been warm everywhere, though. Show a couple others here. Yep. Flowers. Uh huh. Do you have a favorite flower? Orchid. Ironically, because I haven't painted too many of those. My husband gave me an orchid for my birthday, and I've kept it alive. <laughs> wow, that is impressive. Very proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Very pretty. And then another something you guys don't oh, like. have to deal with it. Yeah, I, I do like that with the contrast with the, the sky and the trees. That's very pretty. Yeah, change of season there. Something you guys don't have either. <laughs> we do not. We have like... Uh, we call them rain trees here, um, where that's pretty much the only thing that I know that changes is you'll get the, the trees will have this like really pretty pink um, seed pod. And then they have these little yellow flowers that are everywhere. But we, at least my family, I don't know if that's a technical term, but we call them rain trees because all the little yellow flowers just dump off the tree when it's done. So it goes. Oh, I never heard of that. I've been to Florida a lot and I've never seen that. I'll have to look. Yeah, for we, I had two in my yard growing up. Um, one got taken down in the front yard, but, oh. um, but, but the, yeah, it, and they're very pretty. So you knew the seasons were coming. Right. But. It also was a huge mess, so <laughs> it was like yellow and pink everywhere. So, but very, yeah, it was very pretty, very pretty tree. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think of a couple more things to ask. So, if what kind of work would you like to take on, say through Crafter? Are there? Do you like working with businesses? Do you like to work with customers individually? What kind of goals do you have for that? Uh, I'm open to anyone. Um... Like I said, mostly limited by subject, which is landscape, seascape, floral. Um, yeah. <laughs> Does anyone? Yeah. Whitney's been commenting a couple times. She said she's very ready for fall, and I agree. I see that. <laughs> hey, it's Whitney. been very hot here in Pennsylvania, too, so I kind of hear that. We have the air on again. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so that's fun. So then I'm trying to think of what other questions. So I'm going to go a little bit uh, random here and you can answer or, or not. Are, are there any 
are there any kind of art forms that you are interested in, but you, you don't necessarily do them now, but you're like, oh, I'd really love to learn more about that topic or that type of artwork? Yeah, so I'm always trying new things or wanting to try new things. I just recently tried um, encaustic. That's like mm. the wax where people often put it over a photo or a painting and then right. they kind of paint over it. But I only yeah. tried that with um, like dried flowers. Mm. Yeah, I would be interested how that would even work with the, well, I guess if the flowers are flat enough, is that what you right. do? You just wax over it after it's done? That'd be interesting. Yeah. No, in this case, I actually poured the wax over it. Oh. Yeah. So it's, so it's like almost, because I'm, now I'm thinking about, so we have Mar on, on Craft as well. She has beeswax candles. So all I'm thinking about is her doing beeswax and just melting it. But so you yeah. would just take the wax, melt it, and just lay everything flat pressed and just put the wax on top? Yeah, kind of. So you have to work pretty quickly, especially at, mm. with a small piece. Um, right. So you arrange the flowers and then you pour your wax over it. Like you have to have a frame or something over, around the flowers. Otherwise, the wax is just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my luck. Um, yeah. It's the same thing I've seen with people that use resin when they, they coat the flowers in the resin. Yeah. And if they don't use it fast enough because it's a chemical reaction, then right. it just hardens and it turns into a mess. And I'm like, oh, I know. I I've tried resin not. too. And I don't, I'm not that great with it yet. Like I tried to refinish a table outside. Yeah. So <laughs> it's okay. No, it's a process. It's a and I, I have friends that do resin and I'm like, good job. Because like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know if it would go so well for me. Um, so Whitney's asking, what is the typical size of the canvas that you work on? Do you have certain sizes that you usually use? Uh, yeah, usually um, from 8 by 10 up to, I'm going to say like 11 by 16 is usually the biggest I work on. Although I'll show you this big one. Somebody gifted me a canvas. Sorry, it's sideways. Sideways. <laughs> I always lean in like that's going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard to tell, but that one's actually huge. I rarely ever work like that. That one's like 20 by 24. Usually I work just on these these little guys. These, these are 11 by 14 or 8 by 10. That's usually mm -hmm. my typical size. So. And so you said that you you recently got back into artwork to so you've always been an artist but you didn't, didn't necessarily sell your work you were just kind of doing it for yourself or can you elaborate more on that? Uh I took a full on break for a while. Mm -hmm. Um tried to get into graphic design after graduating from school and it just didn't happen. That was okay. And then I felt that urge again to be creative again. So I thought, well, I'll pick up some watercolors and start with that. And then I got into gouache. I'm going to say it was 2017, 2018. Mm. I think it wasn't at least until 2019 when I thought, well, you know what? Let's see if I can be seen as an artist. Absolutely. And that's why I like doing these is because, you know, then I get to know you better and then the audience gets to know you better and it's just easier. You know what I mean? People go, oh, yes. there's a face. There's a person. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, it's hard, you know, sometimes doing these live interviews. So I've had a few people say, oh, no, I'm too shy. Like, I'm too nervous. <laughs> Let's be honest, everybody's nervous doing this kind of thing, right? right it's like, exactly. oh, what do I expect? I don't know what's going to happen. And, you know, that's, <laughs> that's normal, right? I mean, that's that's um, absolutely normal to, for people to not want to be on camera. So I commend you for <laughs> <laughs> doing this live interview with me because it'll help your audience get to know you more. Um, absolutely. That's one of the goals for this year for me, to try and be seen more, <laughs> literally yes, seen. Exactly. It's to push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit. And, and the more you do it, the easier it gets. Um, exactly. you know, it, it does get easier because then you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. Like, right. I still get a little bit nervous, but it's not as bad as it was, say, when I first started. When I first right. started, it was like, ah. um, do you have a favorite piece that you've made all together that you're like, this is my favorite thing. This sums me up or some something like that, where you're like, this is my favorite thing I've ever made. That's difficult but i'll give you a top three let's say okay, um, that's fair. i'll take it <laughs> i 
Okay, so where is that one? I don't know where I got it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Sorry about the glare. That looks all good. <laughs> well, that's very pretty. Yeah, that's called Fear of the Unknowns. Let me see if I can do something about that glass. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Uh huh. That's very you can cool. See it. I love that because that rem it makes me want to go to the beach. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I painted that in the midst of my son's medical treatments. He's being treated for leukemia. So. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, he's that. doing well, but that just happened to be. You know, right in the midst of some of the more intense treatment, I painted that. And then oh, absolutely. I have this one. Blair Blair. Sorry. That's well, I'm speaking glad of that hope. he's doing better. Thank so you. He's, he's doing better because that is huge. That's a big, a big process to work through. Exactly. Yeah. And this is Beacon of Hope, also painted during treatment when he was still in the hospital. Right. So it's a lighthouse, and that tower actually is the water tower. He's treated at Nemours in Delaware. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's um, really yeah, that's the water tower of the Nemours estate. And then the house is like, I don't know if it was like an old part of the hospital or something, but I just thought that was really fitting for the time it's kind of like a storm and this is the lighthouse so see and that's such an important thing too is that we have had people both request artwork just for fun or to be you know we've had funny requests we've had all sorts of arranged but sometimes people have serious topics that they want to express how they're feeling and have something because when you were in that time you painted that you needed to work through well, that's a really hard time to work through, right? Exactly. And now yes. you're looking back and it's kind of like a double sided meeting now for you because you had the struggles, right? But then you have mm -hmm. the beacon of hope, hope and the light and the, you know, everything. And you're like, so that's, I think that's wonderful. Thank you. I think it's, yeah. And, and that's what I really love about talking to people too, is sometimes you look at artwork and you might think, oh, that's pretty. But that just made that piece so much more meaningful because you shared your story with me. Right. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. wow, that's nice. You know, that's lovely. So yeah, I, I do more of a connection that, to it. Yeah. It's that emotional connection because then you relate to, you relate to it more, you know? And right. it's like, oh, okay, I see it, you know? So I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Of course. That. Um, so you talked about that you had tried doing graphic design. Is there any other kind of like, you know, if you could do anything tomorrow, you know what I mean? As a project, what would be like a dream project of like, Ooh, I'd be super excited. Do you have anything that you really want to do? Well, I've been working on surface pattern design, which can be anything from fabric to wallpaper, yes. notebooks, all that stuff. I'd yeah. be curious to see that. Do you have any examples of that? If not right now, you I, I'd be curious sure. Actually I do. Um, I have my fabric samples. Them. Yeah. Because I have seen people do that. Um, I don't follow a lot of people on Instagram that do that, but I have seen them, and it's interesting to to see. Because everyone needs that stuff, and you don't think about <laughs> obviously someone Where designed all from, of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. I think I need to put the frame down. Switch you around here. Oh, that's not very really light here. Oh, yeah. You do have a bunch. So those are my fabric swatches. Interesting. Yeah. So then, so you do your design and then you just order it through a company yeah, and they send the fabric to it? This is on a... Um, What's this thing called? A uh, spoon flower. I couldn't think of it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's like a print on demand site for fabric. They also do wallpaper. Yeah.
Very cool. Thank you. I like the flower one best, I think. <laughs> but I like flowers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to bias there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. <laughs> Very cool. So, so then you would do it for, for fabric for, you said, anything, really. I mean, any kind of. Yeah, it could be anything. I mean. Um, yeah. Like pillows or blankets or. Right. You can even choose different material. The colors would show up differently, but right. um, yeah, there's tons of materials. Very Fleece, cool. velvet, regular cotton for just dresses, things like that. Um, that be so cool. Yeah. I've seen people even do that cotton. where they take their, their artwork and they put it on a clothing. They put it on right. clothes, but I've never seen it done as a whole pattern, which is honestly, that's pretty cool because you could make a repeat pattern, right? And that'd be yeah, really pretty. Yeah, that's exactly what those are, the swatches. Wait, I did could. you make a skirt or something before? Yeah, I do have that you too. Yeah. yeah, I remember uh -huh. that. It has like, was it roses or something? Uh-huh, it was one of my yeah. favorites. That's right, that's right. I did see that you did that. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like remembering <laughs> now. Yeah. yeah, awesome. That's so cool. So Thank you can you. wear your art. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Yeah, I try. Oh, Everywhere in my house is art. My phone yeah. has a painting on it. Oh, I love that. That's a good way to advertise. You're walking Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> so, so we, let me just recap then. So we have, you do the painting, you do the mosaic, mm -hmm. you do the fabric. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's fun. That's all yeah. really cool things. So awesome. Okay, good, good, good. Uh -huh. So is there anything else that you want to share or that I'm forgetting or anything else you want to let everybody know? Because I'm going to share I'm going to share this all over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, can't think of much else. I do do shows. I don't know how many of uh, your audience are local to me because a lot of the shows are here in um, Pennsylvania, although I did right. have a couple that are virtual that you can check out. Okay. Okay. Yes. Please share that stuff with me because anybody that's on crafter, I share advertise if you have like a sale or if you have a, a show or if you have anything at all, please send it my way and I'll share it on my story because I have people on my list that are from all over the U S so okay. if somebody in Pennsylvania, it would be awesome if they could check it out and be like, Oh, Hey, crafter, let me know. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, That'd, show be awesome. kind of thing. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> now, obviously you have your commissions on crafter, but you also have your website for our, your already made mm -hmm. artwork. I do. Um, so I will make sure that what, what is that website again? Can you tell me? Sure. It's vine designs, V I N E D E S I G N S <laughs> art.com. Hard to remember how to okay. spell when you're, Perfect. It's all good. So I just want to make sure that people know how to reach you. Um, obviously, you know, let me know if you're forever's watching. Let me know, you know, if you want to do any commissions with Ivy, because I'm happy to help. That's what the crafter platform is for. Uh, okay, and then, right. but then if there's something that you've seen that she already has created that you want to reach out, I still want people to reach out to you to be able to purchase that as well. Right. Because right? if, mm -hmm. ooh, I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway, yeah. So thank you so much for meeting with me today. And I appreciate everyone watching. Whitney said she's from Tennessee. I love Whitney. Thank you for coming, Whitney. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wendy. <laughs> and so, but yeah, really appreciate it. And yeah, if there's anything else that you want to share otherwise uh i'm all set all right thanks <laughs> all right well thank you so much again for coming and i really appreciate it thanks so much thank you bye bye